Hey everybody, so in this video I just wanted to talk about the state of emulation on Android. I have a, I'm going to be testing out a few uh, emulators and just giving my opinion and why I think uh, emulation will be a thing of the future, a big thing for mobile gaming, which I never thought I would say because I'm a hardcore console uh, and handheld, you know, traditional, more like Game Boy Advance, uh, PlayStation Vita type of stuff. But I've been, uh, because I've been on the road working as a truck driver, um, I haven't really been able to take out like a lot of uh, my games with me. So the emulators have been really nice, especially because they you can run them, uh, this phone in particular runs them really well. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. And it's an incredible piece of machine, you know, it's a very expensive phone. It does have a very powerful chip and it is able to run most games up to GameCube really well so that's what we're gonna be testing right now I have a few um, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, 3DS, uh, Dolphin which is obviously GameCube and Wii games I also have here uh, a few of the PlayStation 2 games GTA Vice City that's the mobile version I pay for that one because I really love Vice City it's just such a really fun game and I have a Call of Duty too, so I'm gonna be using this uh, GameSir 2, GameSir X2 Pro, which I, I I recently made a review about it, so you can check it out. I put it in the description and also in the link here. It's a, I think it's probably the best controller out there for this type of uh, mobile device um, because I try a few others and they didn't really work well, so I ended up uh, sticking with this one. This is an official, it's licensed by uh, Microsoft, so you can see it's like a very nice, but you can check out the video below. So I'm going to stick uh, stick in the, the phone here, and uh, I ended up getting the uh, USB Type-C version, because just to not have any lag. So we're going to, let's try it, let's, let's start with the Game Boy Advance, you know, I've been playing a lot of, um, I just started Golden Sun. Here, but I'm gonna try something a little bit more fast. Uh, I think the Sonic games are really fun to play in this phone. And by the way, this is the Game Boy. Uh, let me see what it's called. Just a second here. So this is the Pizza Boy Game Boy emulator. I paid the five dollar premium version for it because I like to customize it, and I think it runs really well. I don't like to have ads on my you know when I'm playing so you know five dollars to not have any ads it's a it's a decent investment plus you can do many type of things with it so we're gonna um, what I really like about this controller is that hold on, let me just change the settings here because I, I want to have the LCD um, colors here real colors okay that's better I don't know it just looks much uh, cleaner and crispier so we're gonna play, we're gonna get started here, game start. I play, I beat the first one already, the first Sonic. It runs really well, obviously, because, you know, it, it is a newer type of game. All right, we'll, we'll actually do like an easy level, because I don't feel like struggling right now. <laughs> Especially showing you guys, you know, this type of stuff. So we'll play, you know, the, the games run really well. It's really nice to have like the nice, uh, the size of the screen, you know. I can have it smaller too, but you know why, right? Like, there's no point. And, um, all right, let me just get up here. The game runs really well, it's very impressive graphically, even for its age, you know, obviously. Uh, and I never played the Sonic games, uh, the Sonic Advance games before when uh, the Game Boy was out. So this is very, this is like a nice refreshing introduction to the games. I beat, like I told you guys, I beat the first one. The first one was really fun. And I like to, you know, I like to play it because sometimes I'm just waiting for something. I have a little bit of time. Uh, so I, it's nice to just take it, take out your phone and just play like a little bit. I, I don't sometimes I just play without the gamepad the gamepad I got it because I decided to get into like more serious type of games which we'll be playing later before uh, after 
but you can see the this emulator runs extremely well it's a nice uh, it's a nice emulator and I have most of my favorite advanced games Game Boy Advance games there all the classics and we just finished the level so I'm just gonna stop it here and move on to the next uh, emulator here do you want to quick load? no? okay so we'll just go like this we're gonna close it, go back into our emulators the next one will be the drastic I think I paid for this one too, this is the pay version I believe so for this one I'm just gonna do like a you know same I'm not gonna go too much into it but I have like some of my favorite games Advance Wars, Dual Strike Contact, Diddy Kong Racing, Diddy Kong, this is a fun one, maybe we should do this one I think I started a file because okay so sometimes the emulators will glitch out and they just, okay there we go okay so I think for this one I have to change the settings so we're just gonna try a new one because the problem hold on, guys, with this emulator in particular is that we have to customize the settings for each game and I didn't do that for that one so but I do I believe I have Sonic Rush here so we'll just do another Sonic game yeah this one is good to go so this one is already I set up my settings for this one and the thing I really like about the uh, let me just turn the volume a little bit low the music is really loud the the thing I really like about this the C fold the phone itself is that it kind of looks like the DS so I will right, just play a little bit of this like I told you guys I don't want to play too much so I want to go through uh, through the all the games but it's just nice to have so many games it's like too much now you know and I'm actually considering on getting a uh, maybe the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck looks nice just because I like to have powerful systems. Uh, you know, the C the phone itself is very powerful. It's like a two thousand dollar phone, um, but I I think uh, it doesn't run like computer games. You know, which is uh, crazy, right? For how much you pay. But I think the the phone itself is just so useful to me because I'm a truck driver. So I use it to have a, you know, a secondary GPS for the truck. So the, the phone itself is very useful. Obviously, it cannot do everything right. But you can see this uh, emulator, the games run incredibly well. And a lot of fun. Sonic, this, this Sonic Rush game is so fun. I remember it got very bad reviews. Not bad reviews, but just like what we were expecting and also by the way if you guys there's some parts here of this game where you have to use the touch screen so the emulator already knows that it's a phone so you can use the touch screen I also have a pen I have a pen for this phone which is very similar to the stylus that the original 3DS used to come with but yeah Anyway, so I'm gonna stop here this one because I wanna go with other, should just show you guys other emulators. So this was the DS. We're gonna go back, All right, just close it here. And we're gonna move on to the next one, which is the Citra. I actually just made a video about it because I'm, I'm actually like, I just started like a new Ocarina of Time. So this is the Citra, I haven't had any, by the way, this is the most uh, recent uh, version of it, which you have to get straight from the website. As you can see, the game looks gorgeous, you know. And you have to get the version from the official Citra website. Because I was having some issues with mapping and with just with the view of the screen where it was and everything. So I was I had to get the official version from the website. And you can see the game just runs incredibly well. I just got the Kukiri sword, actually. I have to go get a shield. But obviously I'm not gonna play like a lot. I just wanna show you guys a little bit of the game. 
you can see it's it's gorgeous too. I'm on, I'm a, I'm actually running like a higher resolution than normal. I think that might be why it looks so good too. Okay, I can buy my my shield because I remember where I I just stopped because I was making that other video using this game as an example. And like I told you guys, the gamepad just works uh, really well with it. It's a, it's a, you know, like I said in my previous video, it's eighty dollars. I pay eighty dollars for it, but it's very well worth it, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of emulation. Uh, so this guy won't let me go. I need a sword, but well, I have the sword, but I need the shield. I forget where you get the shield. It's been like many years since I played this game. But I know I can buy it, at least now. Okay, let me just open here, get some rupees. But yeah, you can see the game runs really well. And if you remember the 3DS versions, if you want to use any of the stuff here, you know, like, start button doesn't do anything, so you have to actually just touch the stuff, which the phone recognizes everything very smooth. You don't have to map everything. Uh, like I said in my previous video, with the with this gamepad, you don't have to map anything. You basic the game recognizes the control the gamepad the gamepad and the touch screen, so you don't have to go and do anything. But yeah, like I was saying before, I was thinking about getting the Steam Deck. Uh, it looks really nice. The Steam Deck looks nice. You know, it's nice to have like a just. I have my Switch, you know, you guys know my opinion about the Switch. It's really uh, nice. I beat most of my games. And um, I have my laptop here, but it's too big. Sometimes you just uh, want to lay down and play uh, some games, on some high-end games. And obviously I don't want to have my laptop there. So, well, that's why I decided to start emulating on the Android. And so far, it's been fun. It's uh, most of the games run really nice, and I know a lot of you guys have some phones that might not, you know, that might not have this type of power. Uh, but uh, you know what I can say is uh, save more money, <laughs> save your money, guys. Stop drinking, stop spending your money on drinking, and uh, you know, get some. Uh, savings up yeah, yeah I think you can get a Samsung Galaxy S10 plus for like a good price two hundred dollars or something like that but yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop here because I just wanted to show you how this game runs and as you guys can see it runs really well <clears throat> so we're gonna move on to the next one so I'm gonna close this and go back ah I should have saved because all those rupees and right, then we'll go to my favorite, the GameCube emulator, just because it runs extremely well, at least most of the games, right? So Rebel Strike, which sucks because that's the one I was like looking forward to playing the most. Such a fun game. Rogue Leader works really well, so we'll just do a level, I think. We'll do a level. It runs like there's some uh, lag in the cutscenes and stuff like that, which is expected. I know the computer version runs better than the Android version, uh, which is a shame because they should both uh, be running equally nice, right? So we'll just do one of my previous missions that I I already uh, passed. Okay, we'll do the that star attack. Actually, we'll just do this one: the Ison Corridor ambush. Just because it's quick. Uh, the cut sometimes the cutscenes drag a little bit too long. This game is incredible for its time. The graphics are really nice. And this game came out about like imagine came out maybe 20 years ago. I don't know anymore. Okay, so we'll just skip it. You can see there's a little bit of slowdown here. But the X-Wing flies really nice. Alright, so if we're surrounded, why don't you guys go do something? And we'll send them to attack the ties here. Where are, where are, where are these guys? Okay, there we go. So for example, in this type of game, you really wanna... I played with a Bluetooth and the Bluetooth was having issues. 
it was having a slowdown on or it was having a hard time catching up right I guess that's the right word catching up with the okay I think I missed the but like I said again we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, playing just to show you guys okay so I I got some of them here okay okay ki kill the Thai fighters I'm giving them orders but yeah you can see this game is like miles ahead of the remember the new one that came out the Rogue Squadron one for PlayStation 4 that game was it wasn't that bad but it was like nothing compared to these games you know so you guys can see there's a little bit of lag it's normal I think um, but this is the only one in the other Rebel Strike that have issues because uh, I, I play Metroid Prime it runs really like well uh, Ma uh, Mario Sunshine 2 runs really nice okay we'll just skip that this one runs really well I would say this one runs about 85 percent well okay there we go so 85 percent is not bad but obviously we won 100 percent 110 percent right we won like 50 frames this might be 50, 60 frames per second I don't know but it's just incredible uh, in terms of graphics for its time Alright, that's it for this game. I'm done with this game, guys. So we're gonna change the disc. I will just exit the emulation. So obviously, Metro Primes runs really well. Wind Waker runs amazing. Twilight Princess runs well. Mario Sunshine Luigi. F Zero GX runs perfect. Star Fox Adventures, unfortunately, has like a lot of slowdowns on some cutscenes which is terrible because it, I think it's like one of the best games for the GameCube 